Yo, 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 what's good, Karma Nation? It's your boy Tristan, aka Sriracha DFS, back once again with DFS Karma. Welcome to another episode of NBA DFS DraftKings Picks on Sunday, December 5th, 2021, powered by DraftKings and DFS Karma themselves, where I do a very breakdown of the games and give you guys the top picks from each team. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. Um, so you do not miss out on any of our free media content or our live streams. Comment as well if you do indeed like our content or have any questions, comments, concerns, um, criticisms, compliments. We try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. We always take it all into effect as well. So appreciate y'all. Um, make sure you're in a free chat room where we discuss things uh, DFS 24-7 all day every day. We got DFS, props, betting, just the whole shebang. Um, chatdfs.com link is down in the description below with that being said we only got a three game slate tonight not too many games to go through so it's going to be pretty quick today let's get right to it charlotte atlanta we have um cody martin probable so Lamelo and terry rozier will be out tomorrow um, along with jalen mcdaniels and mason Plumley because of covid19 protocols um, this is actually huge, huge news. Um, we're getting there's a bump to almost everyone on the team. Um, Ish Smith should we'll see, we'll probably see him starting. Um, I'm hoping we see him starting. Um, he gets a bump, and then I, I do believe one of I would say one of either Cody Martin or Kelly Oubre Jr. moves into the starting lineup. So if Cody Martin does move to the starting lineup, I do like him. Um, also Kelly Oubre. But, uh, I mean, everyone gets a bump here. I'm probably going to target a few of these guys, mainly Ish Smith if he's starting. Um, I do like Kelly Oubre here again. Cody Martin's good for me. Um, you can punt um, James Booknight. Booknight, sorry. <laughs> you can punch uh, James Booknight if you want to. Um, he should see some bench run, but... Um, I'm mainly going to be focusing on the big guys unless this game blows out. And, and the reason why I do think this would blow out is if Trey Young does play. Um, he's questionable tomorrow. They might end up sitting him just for rest because they know uh, this game and its uh, implications. It's not too big. So if they do rest Trey Young, then um, I do like the Charlotte side a lot more. Um, but also if Trey Young sits, um, De uh, DeLon Wright should be the guy to slate in to start so make sure to watch out for news uh, for both of these games in my opinion because um, you want to make sure that Cody Martin will play as well but um, Trey Young is questionable Cam Red is questionable Kevin Huerter questionable Bogdan Bogdanovich out and DeAndre, DeAndre Hunter out as well so I mean if if Huerter and Reddish end up sitting then Gallinari becomes a great play um, DeLon Wright still becomes a good play, even if Trey Young's in. Um, Lualu Cabarro probably gets more run, more usage, and uh, maybe even Lou Williams, but I'm mainly targeting those other dudes I was talking about, um, Gallinari, Wright, um, and Cabarro. So that's just something to note if uh, Trey Young does sit or play. And, of course, the rest of the starters. Um, Washington at Toronto is next game. Uh, Thomas Bryant is out for Washington. Um... Nothing really changes here. Uh, we have Harrell, or sorry, Harrell and Gafford, both at cheap prices, basically. Um, Toronto's going to be a tough team to attack inside, but um, they're not too bad priced. Um, besides that, I'm not too sure if I'd go to anywhere else here, to be honest. Um, maybe a Kyle Kuzma. Um, Bertans as a super punt play, but I still wouldn't touch him. Um, Bradley Beal at 9.1 might be a sneaky spend up since there's not too many spend ups, but I think it might be a balanced uh, attack for the slate tomorrow. So Toronto side, um, I think I like this side more than the Washington side, but it's going to be weird. We'll, we'll see how it builds out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Toronto side, Goran Dragic out, OG Ananobi out, Kembridge out as well. Um, so the guys who have been getting bumps are still going to be uh, the main guys for me. I mean, Fred Van Vliet, 9.2K. His price has gone pretty up there, but, um, you know, he will produce. Scotty Barnes, same same ordeal. And I, I do love Gary Trent Jr. at 5.9. I think he's the, ch the cheapest guy to go there. 
um, that's that's sort of a main dude for him. I mean, Precious is 4.5k. Uh, that that's a really good price for him, but he just needs to stay out of foul trouble one and two, sort of produce on the floor, and that's that's a little tough for him. But 4.5k um, against Washington, I actually do think I like that a little bit. So um, I'll probably have some of him tomorrow. But Gary Trent Jr., one of my favorite guys on this team. Last game, Pelicans at the Rockets. On the Pelicans side, Josh Hart is questionable. And Zion Williamson is out, will still be out. Um, I think you do need Josh Hart news here to determine if anyone else becomes a good play. Because if Josh Hart sits, Garrett Temple, probably a great play. Um, Herbert Jones, not that bad of a play. Um, Brandon Ingram becomes a very even better play. Um, he handled the ball a ton last game. Um, and... I do like him a lot if, if uh, Josh Hart sits. Um, and Devontae Graham, of course, but his, I don't know, he he's very inconsistent. So he makes for a great GPP play, but uh, you just have to know that you won't get any consistency with him. You're basically taking a shot because, I don't know, his play recently has not been um, too great. On the Houston side, Kevin Porter Jr. is out, Jalen Green out, John Wall out, and Usman Garuba is out as well. So with Kevin Porter Jr. being out, you basically open up a ton of point guard minutes. You could see Eric Gordon shift to there. Um, I think Armani Brooks started for him last game. Didn't do too well. Didn't produce too well last game. Um, DJ Augustin will come back. And he did play, I think, what, 11 to 16 minutes, something like that. And he produced a little bit, so he's going to be worth a punt play. You want to make sure that if you do um, play DJ, that he starts and... Um, watch for news i mean if there's news at the beginning of the day that says dj augustine is going to play and start then you're going to probably want him as as pretty cheap cheap value so um i do like Deshaun tate as well at 6.6k he needs to stay out of foul trouble if he does guard brandon ingram so be careful of that christian wood at 9.6 he's going to get a ton of usage but he is very pricey um so if you do want to spend up for someone that i think will be a little consistent uh it's either Christian Wood here or one Jonas Valanciunas because that's actually a tough decision. Um, that's actually a pretty tough decision. I'm not too sure who I'd go there, to be honest. I think Christian Wood has the tougher cover because Valley's kind of a bigger dude than Wood. Um, but Wood might get him on the perimeter. So for me, that's sort of a toss-up right now. I don't have too much of a side. Um, if anything, I'll let it I'll let y'all know in the Discord tomorrow. But um, as of now, I don't really have too much of a side, so I'm gonna have to do some more digging and see. But I mean, that wraps up this slate. It's only a three-game slate. We got that. Th we got through that pretty quick. Um, it wraps up this NBA DFS DraftKings picks video for Sunday, uh, December fifth. Again, if you like the video, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the DFS Karma YouTube channel for more daily media content. <coughs> Excuse me, and our live streams. Um, I appreciate you guys all for watching. And as always, it's been your boy Tristan, aka Suraj DFS. <coughs> My bad. Good luck in your contest tonight. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out.